is a song not very typical of Bob Dylan. Came out on his Nashville Skyline album, where he uh, collaborated with a lot of Nashville musicians, more from the country world than, uh, than where he'd been before in the folk world, and the rock world, hanging out in LA and New York with uh, the likes of Al Cooper and folks like that. But, um, so he had the likes of Johnny Cash on this album, singing, singing along with him. But I know when I first heard Lay Lady Lay, I did not think it was Bob Dylan because his voice, this is like, his voice just changed. It's about time. And became, he sang this with such passion and stuff that it's, it's just hard to believe it's him. Beautiful tune as well. Also, very different musically than what he did because most of his other things up until then had been variations on 12-bar blues and or uh, or, or just a kind of folk country talking blues kind of stuff left over from Woody Guthrie's days, sort of. But in here, he put together a really beautiful harmonic chord progression going from A to C sharp minor to G to B minor. And then just kept that si sequence cycling for four to eight times depending before he went into the chorus. So all you really have to do to play this, and I love to have people learn this song, as a bar chord exercise, just getting from A, which would be barred at the fifth, shaped like an E chord, to C sharp minor, barred at the fourth, shaped like an A minor chord. So if you'd like to find out more about how bar chords work, and especially about how this song works and all kinds of, kinds of other things, all this info is available in the lessons that we have at Totally Guitars. So um, I'll, there's a lot, more, a lot more detail there, but I'll give you the quick rundown again of this, of the four chord progression to Lay Lady Lay. Again, it's A at the fifth, C sharp minor at the fourth, G at the third, which is in the same shape as the A chord was from our E world. Totally confused you now, right? Totally confused guitars today. And then to B minor, barred at the second, in the A minor shapes. So we really just have this little kind of hop, or yeah, hopscotch pattern down the neck from the fifth to the fourth to the third to the second fret, changing back and forth from an E shape to an A minor shape. And then this haunting melody over it. Love this tune and would like to do a much uh, more detailed lesson on it. If we get enough people uh, voting on this over at, at Totally Guitars, we'll definitely get to it. But it is, uh, the, the, way I, the way we look and decide what we're going to do up there is by how many requests we get for certain songs. So we're adding songs every day to the hundreds that are already there of mostly classic rock stuff. Some, some current rock stuff too, but generally in the acoustic world, except for the few really screaming electric songs. I think we even have Purple Haze up there. Whoa! There it is. The acoustic version, of course, which was not very commonly recorded in Jimi Hendrix days. But um, anyway, all kinds of other cool stuff there. Forum, a community where you can join in discussion groups on all kinds of things. Forum where you can get questions answered and uh, just basically chat with other folks that are, that are on the site. And I would love to see you come over there and join in with what's happening and get in your requests for songs because that's how we, uh, how we decide what we're going to do. So hope to see you over at totallyguitars.com. Thank you.